Oppo like to say that they only release a Find model when they have market-leading brand new tech to showcase. In the Find X from 2018, this was the very first pop-up camera and the very first Android smartphone with real 3D face unlock, plus 50 watt SuperVoog charging, which interestingly enough uses two batteries, fast charging in parallel to achieve the best possible speeds. Well, today we have our hands on the sequel. This is the Find X2 Pro, and it's great. The Find X2 Pro ditches the pop-up camera and instead we get a punch hole 32 megapixel front facing camera. I like this design more than the motorized counterpart. I know Oppo tested the motors and I haven't heard online of many problems, but having it expose the inside of your device every time you unlock the phone had me a little unsure. The hole punch is a much more practical design. Now this does mean that we lose the true 3D face unlock, but to be honest I don't mind that at all. There's still front camera driven face unlock. This seems to work great, and if you are having problems like you will in a very dark room, there's still an in-screen fingerprint scanner that also seems really accurate and I didn't have any problems with that either. Surrounding that hole punch is the best feature of this whole device, the screen. 1440p HDR10 certified AMOLED running at 120Hz. And the difference this screen made to the mobile experience really surprised me. It's the first time in a long time I've picked up a phone and thought, wow, this is a big step up. Using this device actually felt like a new mobile experience. At first I thought it was just because of the 120Hz display, but it's actually a lot more than that. Just scrolling through the UI as an example, the most fundamental part of a mobile phone. The 5G connection loads the page instantly. The mobile processor is so fast now that all the content on the page or the app you're looking at is already loaded before you hit the bottom. The device is reading your finger movements 240 times per second, and then displaying 120 images per second back to you. So you see every single frame while scrolling a menu. This all combines to a device that truly does feel like it's instantly responding to your touch. And you notice it everywhere. Every app I used felt great. And when I did have to go back to my iPhone 11 Pro, I noticed a massive difference. The screen is also a lot clearer, sharper and brighter than I'm used to. And watching movies side by side was like night and day. And it's not only the visual experience that's good, but it also has Dolby Atmos stereo speakers. And they sound pretty good. I'd still personally use headphones, and unfortunately there's no headphone jack. But a set of Bluetooth earbuds are pretty cheap these days, and they include a set of USB-C headphones in the box. But if you're quick enough, Oppo is giving everyone who buys the Find X2 Pro a free set of Enco True Wireless earbuds via Redemption, so I'll leave a link to that in the description. In the box we also get a free standard case which is nice. Now this is also a 5G device, and New Zealand has the 5G network now on Vodafone. I know it's still early stages of 5G, but I went and did a quick speed test and was getting 192 megabits per second down, compared to about 50 on 4G, so not bad. But that's not all. The battery life is also top notch. The batteries are massive 4260 milliamp hour, and even pushing that gorgeous display at 120Hz, are still getting over 2 days of moderate use which blew me away. It fully charged in about 38 minutes too with the new 65W PD SuperVoog charger. It would have been nice to also have wireless charging, unfortunately that's not included, but I think the SuperVoog charger is a good substitute. Not a deal breaker for me, but maybe something you consider. And as for ColorOS, I like it. 6 was a big improvement, but the new ColorOS 7.1 really works great. I had no complaints using this firmware. And then of course, another big star of the show is the cameras. We get a brand new co-developed 48 megapixel sensor for the main, an ultra wide and a new 13 megapixel periscope zoom module, improving over the first generation ones found in phones like the P30 Pro. The images are clearer and really quite impressive. There's actually a lot of cool things going on with the camera and we plan on doing a follow up video with the camera a little more in depth. But from what I've tested so far, it's a very impressive setup. And you can get some really cool shots with the new ultra macro mode. So just to conclude, I was sold on this phone the first hour I used it. And I think you will be too. This device seems like it's gonna be the new standard for flagship devices. And going back to my 60 Hertz iPhone was really noticeable. If you're looking for the complete package, I'd recommend this device. The screen is the best display I've ever seen on a mobile device. Paired with awesome Dolby Atmos audio, the cameras are great, the battery was great, and the performance is top of the field too. It's got the latest Snapdragon 865 and 12 gigs of RAM. It's IP68 water and dust resistant, it charges in under an hour, and all in all is a great mobile phone. 
I'd recommend popping into your local PB store and having a play on the demo unit so you can see exactly what I mean about this display. I'm Milo from PB Tech, remember to like and subscribe and I'll catch you next time.